In this video, we're going to discuss immune complex diseases or the hypersensitivity type 3 diseases. And the best example is acute serum sickness. And this is where they have injected high quantities of horse antibodies or antigens into a uh, human to kind of see what happens. So there's there's two types. There's kind of the systemic, systemic or local uh, type three hypersensitivity reactions. And first we're gonna talk about the systemic, what happens, you know, when it's all over your body, and then that we can just kind of talk about talk about it in the local sense later. So there's th three phases. The first phase is the Im immune complex formation. So in this step or in this phase of this immune complex diseases, there is an antigen circulating in your blood vessels, in your blood. These little green dots represent these antigens. And these antigens first will be picked up by a B cell and then this helper, this helper T cell version two will come here and bond to this and it will, and it will help the B cell uh, convert into a plasma cell. And then the plasma cell will start mass producing these antibodies. That's what plasma cells do is they increase production or the concentration of these antibodies. So there'll be antibodies coming out like crazy and then these antibodies will be binding all these antigens and these antibodies will are flags for these neutrophils and these other white blood cells, these leukocytes, to you know, get rid of this antigen that's floating around in your body. So what happens is there's an antigen antibody complex. So this antigen antibody complex begins to form. That is phase one, is this, this immune complex formation. Phase two is the immune complex deposition. So in this part is this antibody antigen complex here fuses or inserts itself into the blood vessel kind of attaches into the blood vessel, kind of embeds inside the blood vessel, okay? So this neutrophil comes along and says, oh, hey, we got some antibodies here that are bound to these antigens. We need to start destroying this complex. And also complement gets activated and further uh, recruits and activates these neutrophils and these white blood cells. That is the immune complex deposition. Uh, then the phase three is the immune complex mediated uh, inflammation. Let me scroll down here just a bit. So what happens is that as this neutrophil starts destroying this complex, we have some uh, some things that go on. This is a war. It's best to to remember that when this thing, when the, these processes happen, it's like a war zone. You know, it's not nice and pretty. There's, you know, part of you that's getting destroyed that doesn't need to be, but that's just kind of the bystander effect. You know, these blood cells are, uh, these endothelial cells are getting damaged, these blood vessels getting damaged because, you know, this neutro these neutrophils, they're they're not pretty. They come in here and they get the job done. So what happens is you have these neutrophils and they are secreting these lysosomal enzymes. And these enzymes are just nasty. They'll chew up and destroy anything in the, in the way. And then because you're getting endothelial damage, you start to have platelet aggregation. Platelet aggregation leads to little, uh, you know, small little plugs that will cause local ischemia. And so if you have uh, ischemia or a lack of blood flow to the area, you know, like this guy right here, this guy's not gonna have much blood flow to him is because these platelets are just surrounding him and covering him. And so this guy's probably gonna die because of ischemia, not be, you know, and it all initiated because of 
this kind of immune complex inflammation. You also get vasculitis, inflammation of the uh, blood, ve blood vessel. So kind of in review, what happens is the main idea of these immune complex type 3 hypersensitivity diseases is that you have a concentration of antigens. You get B cells that turn into plasma cells and they secrete these antibodies that will then attach to these antigens to kind of uh, flag the neutrophils and the leukocytes for pickup. So these neutrophils will come in here and start destroying, destroying this complex. But the complex, and that is kind of a normal response, that's normally what's supposed to happen, but in this uh, in this type 3 hypersensitivity is these complexes embed themselves in areas, in areas of kidneys, joints, and small blood vessels. These are the favored sites for these complexes to uh, embed themselves. And like I said, that this complex right here, this immune complex formation, this is not pathogenic. This is not the the, the problem, because this happens all the time. This is how your body rids itself of antigens circulating in your bloodstream. The problem arises is when they embed themselves. And the reason why they embed themselves, there's several variables. One is the size. So uh, increase your size, it's easier to pick up. These neutrophils will pick up these larger size immune complexes, no problem. But the smaller they are, you know, so let's see here, tiny size equals big problem. The harder, the, the smaller they are, the harder for these neutrophils are to kind of pick up. Also the charge. What's the charge? If you look at the biochemistry, you know, what are the ch what's the charge of this molecule? Is it positive, negative, slightly positive, polar, nonpolar, type, things like that? What's the charge of that immune complex formation? And the blood flow. Remember, part of Virco's triad is the blood flow and stasis. If I have a big atherosclerotic plaque right here, let me do it down here. So remember we talked about this in a, in a vi few videos, but you have a normal blood vessel here, and if you have some kind of atherosclerotic plaque here start forming in this blood vessel, what's that going to do to this laminar blood flow? Remember laminar blood flow is there's kind of like layers of blood flow, and the ones that are in the center will flow the fastest down the pipe because of the you know the the blood that's flowing down the pipe closest to this wall they kind of are have friction and so friction will decrease the velocity of this blood flying down the pipe so if you and and there's kind of layers of blood flow fast going down to slowest but if you have this vast or uh, atherosclerotic plaque plaque here and this blood flow is flowing down it well this blood might it's going to kind of bump into this and then kind of you know, create these, you know, these projections of blood. You know, this one might come right through here, but, you know, maybe this laminar blood flow line will bounce here and then it will kind of come up here and you'll, you'll get abnormal blood flow. So if there's abnormal blood flow, these immunocomplexes, they could be coming down here and because there's kind of like a, a circling pattern right here, kind of if you watch a river, especially if you're a fly fisherman, you want to know where these kind of, back currents are is because that's where the fish pool but you know these complexes they'll kind of stay right here and then they'll easily embed themselves into this wall and that causes this problem right here this immune complex mediated inflammation so you get this vasculitis so once this Im Im immune complex deposit deposits inside its wall inside the the uh, vessel wall of the kidneys, inside the joints, or inside small blood vessels, you get this problem. And attempted phagocytosis of immune complexes um, by the leukocytes causes additional pro-inflammatory substances. So these, you know, these leukocytes, they're going to be secreting even more 
pro-inflammatory substances outside of the in, these endothelial cells being, hey, what are you guys doing here? You know, I'm going to start recruiting, I'm going to start causing an inflammation process to, to happen so that, you know, you can get out of here because you're not supposed to be here type of a thing. Well, when the leukocytes come, they add additional pro-inflammatory substances like prostaglandins, vasodilators, chemotactic substances, lysosomal enzymes, which are these little blue dots that represent lysosomal enzymes. And they can digest the basement membrane, collagen, elastin, and cartilage. So if this was in a joint, for example, your cartilage would be destroyed by li by these lysosome enzymes secreted by these neutrophils. And last but not least, the reactive oxygen species. Now these are free radicals, and they cause uh, you know tissues to be damaged too through free radical damage. So this is kind of a big uh, you know the process starts out normal, but then once this immune immune complex embeds itself inside the tissues, then the problem arises and you can get, and the favorite sites again, and we're going to talk about in the next video these examples, but the favorite sites are kidneys, joints, and small blood vessels. And then if, and that's kind of a systemic effect. Now if you wanted to talk about a local effect, it's just a local this reaction here is just happens in a local scenario, in a local kidney kidney in a local joint and we'll, we'll we'll show some examples of that in the next video